Okay, now so that you've went in, you've got your eggs, you can go in and razor blade them out if they're in a flower pot. Um, right there you can see they're just, uh, it's kind of a rough surface, so I just use my finger to gently push them off. You don't have to be too gentle, I mean, don't be afraid to go ahead and just rub the eggs off and then have the turkey baster ready so whenever they kind of clump up together, you can baster them out and then cap the end with your finger so they don't fall back down. Uh, and I just put them right in this container here that I have. Uh, it's all tank water, it's not RO or anything crazy. Um, and now here I have my methylene blue. So for this size container, I'm going to do two to three drops. So just one, two, and now you just rinse out whatever's left and I'll be about my third. And then I stir it up real well. This is going to move your eggs around, get them to roll into the center. Make sure they all get covered in the methylene blue and I'll help them clump together. Now I'm going to move them over and I'll get an air stone set up on them. Okay, now i got my air stone hooked up. I'm going to have it going pretty strong and I'm going to move as far as I can to the bottom. Um, I will use a clip here to kind of help mount it onto the side. Uh, so I'm going to lower that as far as I can to get good flow without the eggs being tumbled constantly. Uh, I'm going to rig this up and I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm going to get it down far, have strong air with an air stone without the eggs being turned around. So maximum flow and getting the eggs to sit in a corner. Uh, let me rig this up and show you what it should look like. Okay, so I have my air stone clamp now. It's down pretty close to the bottom. I could probably go a little bit further, uh, but I also have the air pretty strong. Uh, if anything, I may turn the air up a little. So I have my eggs down here at the bottom. Uh, if I focus in on them. So they're getting constant water flowing over me. You can see the current, but they're not getting tumbled. Here and there, if one or two does, it's fine. You're actually like right, right at the right amount. Um, so they can get pushed around a little bit as long as they're not actually constantly leaving the bottom, coming to the top of the container and back down. Uh, if you can get them to settle down there just like this, uh, it's about perfect. Take anywhere from like three to four days, in my opinion, to see them actually free swim and wiggle. A, a wig will not freeze them. Freeze them takes a while. Um, right here to the left, actually, I have another container that's been going on for quite some time. Let's see if you can see the fry. Not sure how hard they are to see in there. But uh, these guys are hard, starting to swim. Another container to the left are free swimming. See, there's one there. Pretty small spawn. Another one down here. And those are all fry. So that's a pretty good spawn here. Um, they're right at the age where you need to start putting microworms in there. If you wait too long or you go too soon, you can really ruin the whole batch. Um, so having enough pairs and having enough containers like this kind of trial and error is definitely very important. And once you start feeding, you ought to clean them so they're like, this is needs clean tonight. All that food on the bottom, is just, it's too much waste, you'll start losing fire right away. Um, hopefully it's helped, I may kind of elaborate a little bit more in another clip. But um, as for now, that's how I collect the eggs, get them in a container and actually tumble them until they hatch. Thanks. Another thing I'll go ahead and add in, you want to get the eggs as soon as possible. So here's my pair that I just stripped the eggs from. They already came back and they're finishing laying eggs. So I got them within 20 minutes of starting and that's when you're probably getting your best hatch rate. I don't know how much it really matters. I, like whenever you get them, you don't know if it's right away or not. Uh, if you miss them by 10 minutes, it could be 15 minutes later. It could be two hours. You don't really know for sure. Um, but these guys are still spawning. There's probably another 50 eggs on there. Um, so I can come back and base those out and I'll add them right to that same exact container. And say I had another uh, pair over here, like I have another male. Say he spawned over there, I can actually mix those two spawns and hatch them at the same time. But you do run the risk if you tumble them wrong, you do something wrong, or one spawn's good, one's bad, they'll fungus onto the others. Uh, so the more you can spread it out and kind of weigh your chances is the better. But um, if you have them going like crazy and you don't have, if you're not in need of eggs and you have a few, uh, batches of fry going, I will usually mix them just for convenience and you'll get a larger spawn at the end of the day. 
But uh, I'll zoom in on these guys as well. You can see those eggs. And just so much color whenever they're kind of at their peak and showing off. So even if you don't breed them for the for the fry, it is cool to kind of watch the behavior. Kind of algae wafer down there, kind of distracting them, so these guys can finish up and lay their eggs. So I believe I have a clip earlier that actually they're spawning and someone comes in and tries to eat the eggs from them. So if you can distract them while you're there, me as well, and uh colony tank like this that's about as good an example as you can get male and female both going over the eggs female laying them See her tube is dropped and her belly is real pink and purple. Uh, you can tell a day or two before they're going to spawn the female dropper tube. Uh, they'll usually go to a territory and they'll keep scaring fish away. They'll show more aggression. They'll have dominant color versus the rest of the fish. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a really cool fish. I had some people ask me to shoot a video actually collecting the eggs because I did a lot of trial and error just myself. So if I can help other people out, get more people in German Blue Rams. Uh, they're cool fish and keep up with my videos and hopefully I'll have more to more to come. Thanks.